In this session we discuss WordPress pages. Now, a WordPress page is just a regular web page where the home page or the blog page of your WordPress powered site contains blog entries listed one right after the other. A WordPress page is a static page. So if we go to, go to the about page here, we see that it just contains static information as opposed to a list of blog posts. Now, to create a new page, just go down to Pages and click Add New. And what you'll see is that this looks pretty much just like the same menu as creating a blog post. And indeed, mostly it is. You have all the same formatting options. You have uh, you know, the same publishing features. You can publish now or just save a draft and publish it later. But the things that you're going to see that are different are, for one thing, you don't have categories and tags for pages, but you do have this other box here that is that has page attributes. For one thing, you can give a page a parent where you you would have sub pages listed under a specific page, and then you can also select a template here, and I'll talk about those in a couple minutes. You can also determine the order of the page as it will show up in your navigation menus. The other thing you don't see here are excerpts. Excerpts are also reserved for blog posts. Now right here in the discussions area, this is one thing that I usually click off when I create a WordPress page. And I do that because I don't want comments on my pages. I, I prefer you know comments on my blog posts, but I don't I don't like to open up my pages because I do prefer those to be static. So add a new page. We just give it a title. And we put some content uh, in here. And we're going to format this the same way, like I said, we would format a blog post. So you can insert images using the upload insert. You can format it using any of the, any of the formatting features. And we also discussed that in a previous session. So once I have my page title and my content of my page, I just click Publish. And then when I visit my site again, it's automatically going to show up in the navigation. Unless we have created a custom menu for this particular site, and that we discuss in a later session as well. But that is as simple as it is to create a, a new page. Now I want to show you some examples of pages. First of all, on this site, our home page is actually streaming our blog. Then if we look at some of the other pages, we see that they're, they're formatted similar to, to blog posts. Now the other thing that you want to pay attention to is how you are optimizing your pages. I want to go back to a previous session where we talk about optimizing a blog post. You want to use those same ideas to optimize your pages. So that you're highlighting key terms and you're getting the very best exposure in the search engines for your pages. So your pages can look and all look very different. And they can also include embedded code. For instance, this page includes an embedded widget from the service SlideShare. And it includes all of my current presentations that I've uploaded to SlideShare. Now I created this page by embedding the code into the page. I'm going to show you what that looks like in a minute. And then we also have an entire session about placing code or embedding code into your widgets and your websites. So if we look also at the video page, we notice that we have a video gallery that was embedded on this page using YouTube. Now we we had a session, an earlier session, about creating a video gallery using YouTube playlists. And this is the example that we actually used. This, this playlist includes some of the tutorials that, that you're listening to right now. But what you might notice that's different about this page is that it doesn't have a sidebar. Now remember earlier I talked about where you can actually choose a template for your page. So some pages have sidebars. 
like this one, we have a sidebar here and two sidebars there. And we have a session also on the anatomy of a uh, WordPress website, which we'll talk about the different, the different areas of uh, site. And this is one of the things that we talk about, is that this, this, is, this is considered a sidebar and it contains widgets. And this is another sidebar. And we can create page templates that include or exclude different sidebars. For instance, we could have one that has one sidebar or no sidebars. This one actually has no sidebars. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we actually choose templates for a page that, that maybe will not have any sidebars. Now a lot of times your theme, whatever theme you choose for your site, will come with some uh, page templates. But we also have a session that shows you how to create your own. Okay, here over here in the page attributes box is where we can pull down a select our different page templates. Default template is going to have all of our sidebars. Uh, we have another one here called Newsroom, which is different yet. And then we have no sidebars, and that's the one we have chosen for this particular page. And it's as simple as just choosing that template and then clicking Update to change it. Now, like I said, some of your themes will come with, with page templates, and some of them won't. Most of them do anymore. And I know for certain that the default template in WordPress comes with uh, some some different page templates. Now I want to show you how we embedded that code on the slides page. So we'll look back at that page. Now we do have sidebars in this page, so we chose the default template. So if you want to change a page or upload a, or update a page, you're going to go to Pages and that's going to list all of the different pages that you've created. And then you would find the page that you want to change and click on it. And now notice that we're in the visual mode here of, the, of creating a WordPress page, just like with a blog. If we want to embed code, we need to go to the HTML view. So this code here was just completely created within the SlideShare service. So we copied the code, we brought it over here onto our WordPress page, and we pasted it using the HTML view. Now, one caveat, if you're, if you're creating pages on WordPress.com, they are going to filter certain things out. So you, you may not be able to embed widgets like this within your pages. And they do that for security purposes to protect everybody who has a site with them. But if you have your own hosted site, you have more control over what you can embed and cannot embed. And so if you wanted to change this, you would just uh, change any, you know, change the code or maybe put a header in there or something. And then you would click on update and that's how you would update this page. Now there's another page I wanted to show you, and what I wanted to show you with this example is, is that the HTML view really is HTML. So one thing you can do is you can go to, especially if you have experience with HTML, you can use, say, Dreamweaver or just write the HTML yourself, and you can embed that HTML in a page. This page for instance, is a page that I needed to be formatted very specifically. I needed to use tables to align everything exactly the way I wanted them. And so this page was a particular challenge and it can be an even more, more of a challenge if you don't if you don't have a like a a YZWIG uh, HTML program like Dreamweaver or something similar. So what you can do is go to Dreamweaver and create the page and or create at least the HTML for the page. You get things lined up exactly the way you want it and then you could come in here and embed the HTML. So say you went into Dreamweaver and you, and you got the table just the way you wanted it with the borders and the widths and all of that and then you would just copy the code from Dreamweaver and then paste it right in here. And that's what I did here, is I created the table 
and then I copy the code over here. And then notice also that we chose the no sidebars page attribute here for template attribute. So if we preview our page again, we can see that we have an initial text that we saw here, and then our header, and then here is where the table is actually displaying all of the different sites in a format that we that we prefer. So that concludes our session today.